Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome to the Harry Potter Lego Dimensions world where we'll be taking a look at Mr. Potter and Voldemort, the evil guy that has no nose like Michael Jackson. So don't go anywhere. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's time for us to jump in to a new world. And we're back, Potter fans! Yay! Welcome to the world of Harry Potter, who's, get this, a wizard! A wizard? Oh wait, I mean, a what? A wizard, yes, that's right. But... I'd be willing to conjure up a jukebox for you. For yes, conjure stars. up a jukebox. Do but, it now. But no, you Thanks. you have to be wrong, jukebox Hagrid. Abiricus. He's just Harry. That spell was just for show. That meme is so old that it was just fun to mess Well, with just Harry, you're a wizard. <laughs> All right, we're done. <laughs> Amber will just keep going with I it. I just, I can't actually do it anymore because I've actually followed Luke around, like, while I've been playing this and, like, been asking him, like, he'll say, oh, yeah, you know, like, we're doing really well and all this stuff. And I'll say, that's great. You know why we're doing really well? And he'll say, why? Because you're a wizard. <laughs> Yeah, so we can listen to excellent music here, which the most excellent music is from the Sonic world. All right, we'll just close that so we can listen to the excellent music here. The Mr. Potter music, yes. So I didn't really pay attention too much when Amber was doing the live streams for this, so this is all new to me. Yeah, um, I actually, uh, oh, I just did a little bit uh, on my channel, and then I did some, like, really late at night, but you were actually editing, so. I was editing things. Actually, you couldn't even hear the music, so. No. I was, I, I kept going, oh my gosh, Luke, it's so cool looking, so. Yeah, so Luke is actually seeing this uh, for the first time and hearing it. This is one of the coolest playsets. I said Sonic was one of the coolest, and I have to say Sonic is number one. But, I mean, look at this. This is really cool. I mean, I'm just seeing house tops right now, but I mean, look at that in the background. It's amazing. It is amazing. It's magical. It's very magical. This is not good. This is definitely not good. And I saw a red brick on my map. Nice. And that is your red brick already. There you go. Yep. One down. Oh, yeah. We got it. Okay. Oops, gotta keep going here. Well, I mean, they would have to give you a very big world since Harry Potter covers, like, you know... A lot of movies. A lot of movies. And books. I'm really surprised that they didn't give Harry Potter its own Lego Dimension story, though. Because yeah, it's, it's they gave just the, Mission uh, Impossible, they did Adventure Time, and they did Sonic. Oh, yeah, I know. If you do it for the Mission Impossible, yeah. Harry Potter had more uh, books and uh, movies. Look what we have here. Uh oh. Uh oh, we have to fight this bad girl. You look like you're fighting the Emperor from Star Wars. I will Whoa. show you my true nightmare, Mr. Potter. That's what her uh, minions look like. The Emperor from the Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> I don't know. I actually haven't seen all the movies, so. The I did. is strong with you, Potter. I can't remember if I saw. I saw one of the movies with Voldemort in it. It was either part A or part B. Like they did the last Harry Potter movie, they split up into two parts. So they dragged it out. Uh, you know, they always have to. I mean, Star Wars is dragging their stuff out now, so it's like, come Star on. Star Wars is doing Leviosa. more with. They're like, we're gonna add round episodes. Things. You know, I don't know, five, six. Uh, wait. Seven, eight, nine. And then they're doing Star and then, Wars and then side you stories do, like, every year. Yeah, three and a half. They should have called it three and a half. I do you know, know what the next uh, si Star Wars side story or a Star Wars story is? The next one they're doing is uh, Han Solo. Oh my gosh. Han Solo. I'm Han Solo. I'm Han Solo. That's crazy. Oh, well, they're probably gonna do somebody else than Harrison Ford. Yeah, it's his younger days. Harrison Ford as Han Solo is kind of. Uh, Okay, that's gonna be kind of weird. He sunk so low off a bridge. Oh, I feel like they're gonna ruin Han. I just feel bad. Oh, well, that's what happens when you join Disney. It'll be like young Indiana Jones movies, which weren't that bad. Young actually. Indiana Jones wasn't bad. It was. I mean, it wasn't. He threw a toilet at her. That was amazing. 
Yeah, that's that one actress that is in all those movies. Whatever movie Johnny Depp is in, she seems to be in the movie. But Johnny Depp wasn't in Harry Potter. Mm, no. Not technically. He may be in some in related, other movies. Related movies. Some yeah, related, related movies. So, I mean, the, the, whole, the whole connection to Harry Potter could be a thing now. I know, right? They did that on purpose, because they were like, wait a second, we had her in it. That means Johnny has to show up in the <laughs> yeah. franchise eventually. I know. Eat rubber ducky. So this, you just basically have to just hit and circle to throw that stuff back at her. Use your magic power. Actually, Ooh. when I did this, um, I think, I don't know if it was, it was my, when I was just uh, playing it for the first time on my other save file. Mm-hmm. I actually thought I beat her, but I didn't, so she was following me around the map, throwing stuff at me the entire time when I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to uh, That's amusing. get the rest of my stuff done, and I was like, why does this person keep hitting me? And it's like, no, you have to, so you have to make sure you get all three hearts, otherwise she'll follow you. Whoa, she that, was, won't stop. that was a whole secret house. Yep. Cool. <laughs> it's pretty The first amazing. golden brick in our Harry Potter adventure. Yay! Oh, you can go through the... I thought I could... I don't oh, understand. Oh, no, that's a shield. I don't understand that's... what's going on. I don't see anything here. I don't understand what's going on. Well, maybe there's a secret that I can't figure out. We can always come back. Let me in! Let me in! I, I, know, the, I know the password. It's looking glass. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, I can do that better. Looking glass. <laughs> no? Oh my gosh, I still want to do a psychotic bat stream. Hello. We recovered a most interesting artifact on our last raid. Something muggles call a rubber duck. Turns out it had been enchanted, and upon squeezing it, a rain cloud appeared inside the ministry, which I now can't seem to get rid of. Mm. It was rather funny at first, but Perkins is already in a bad mood over his bad back, and apparently the constant downpour in his office isn't doing anything to help. Could I trouble you to take a look? Could I trouble you to take a look, Amber? Um, actually, I... Yeah, let's try it. I actually don't think I actually did this part on at all, so this is totally new. Ooh, something I new has been added. I didn't realize you could actually go in here, because I did go by that telephone, bo telephone booth. Nice. But I should always know that telephone really? booths are more than they appear. That's right. Superman, uh, Doctor Who. or police boxes with Doctor Who. Especially in England, Bill apparently. and Ted. Yes, I know. So I should I should I have known there was something this. there. Reg Catamol would normally sort this type of thing out, but the old chap doesn't seem himself lately. So this place that, or I'm sorry, pack story, or I'm sorry, adventure pack, whatever it is, seems to be like you could mainly do everything with Harry Potter almost. So this isn't an adventure pack. This it's would be uh, not an adventure pack. It's a free, free roaming roam. world. I'm sorry. Thank you for correcting me there, because I don't want to say it's something it's not. No, it's not a level pack. It's not a level pack. Is it's that Yoda? Free, it's a free roaming. No, that's Dobby. Oh, Dobby. I don't remember what Dobby sounds like. Uh, I've just so seen. Good thing these aren't storm clouds. Imagine all that lightning. Dobby is kind of like. Through wires into their homes and storage in batteries. Quite ingenious, those muggles. Well, he likes to talk a lot. I've got a large collection of batteries going myself. Molly thinks I'm mad, <laughs> of course, but there you are. It's all right. He's got an awesome accent. His accent Dobby would be, I mean, in my little thing where Lord of the Rings, there's always one character that corresponds to every Harry Potter character. So Dobby is kind of like Smeagol, but uh, yeah. Oh, Gollum. Dobby! But Dobby is much nicer than Smeagol. Dobby, Dobby is a sweetheart. Well, you know, Dobby is a... Where is it? He's like a forced like servant of like the really stuck-up uh, people in the God series. The I'm surprised nobody ever did them. like a Lord of the Rings Dark Knight like thing. That would have been funny. You know? Like you have... Ooh, an enchanted Oh yeah, car. that's one of the things that you get. You get a car for uh, Harry. Harry and a... Uh, train for uh, 
Voldemort. And why does he get a train? I don't know. I mean, Voldemort has more fun in this. But yeah, I don't know. What do you mean, like, Lord of the Rings Dark Knight parody thing? Or... Uh, okay, yeah. Um, like, Smeagol's looking for the ring, and he's talking with the Hobbit. I mean, I'm just spitballing this in my head. I mean, this is probably dumb, but... <laughs> You have Smeagol... Continue! Okay, okay. <laughs> so you have, you have Smeagol, like, you know, grabbing onto Sam, like, Where is it? And Sam's like, I don't know! You know? And oh, then, yeah! And then, sweet, yeah. yeah! And then he keeps going, and he's like, There's a lot of hobbits! And he's like, yeah. I don't, so, I swear to... Oh, thank goodness. I'll have this you place know. cleaned up in no time. So, so Smeagol would be Batman, basically. Pretty much, because he's insane. In about three to four years. That's adorable. You know, so you, Sam would be like, "This was I hate covered you. in the rain as well. <laughs> mm. We don't have any clue what it actually is, but it's very shiny, and it doesn't seem to <laughs> It's very any shiny, comments, so it's probably safe for you." That's that's adorable, gaming. So, do you know who that that guy is, Arthur Weasley? I'm I'm pretty sure he is Ronstad. Yeah, Ronstad. You already knew. No, I was going. I haven't seen the Harry oh Potter films. Oh my gosh! Films. I think I can't remember if I can go. I can't remember if I can go out here. And and Ron is Harry Potter's friend, which you probably I know. know. He ends up with uh, really Hermione cool. or whatever her name is. I think. I think he does. I can never say her name. Harry Hermione? ends up with a blind, a Hermione? blonde. A is it blonde. Hermione? Yeah, I think I don't so. Know. I can't. That I can't would be say. so cool if you could go in there. But I actually tried to use my little. Uh, Broom and go over there, but I can't. This is such a cool environment, though. I don't know why this like all made of green, green and red. It's like so Christmas. You're in the Ministry of Music or Ministry of Magic. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is this the same place that's supposed to be in uh, Fantastic Beasts? Oh my Ministry gosh. Ministry of Magic. Maybe it is, but this looks way cooler than the. Well, this is like Fantastic what ninety Beasts. years later, or something like that. Or 80 or 70 or something. Oh, yeah, you're right. Is this would be later because that's a, a Fantastic Beast is, comes much before. So you can't go out there. It's sad. Look at those pretty gates. This this whole area looks so cool. Mm hmm. That's one thing I really like is the uh, the cool music and the environments in there. You can't go up there, but. Still looks pretty awesome. Yeah, it's pretty so cool. So then the only way out is through the telephone booth, where you'll meet Bill and Ted. Yep. You'll then get sued by Doctor Who. Oh man, that would really freak me out if I had green fire in my fireplace. I'll tell you what. Then you would know you're a witch! <laughs> yeah. A witch! Burn her! I don't have green fire in my fireplace, though, so thank goodness. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't really know how that would joke would work because they don't really have. They, they don't have. Yeah, like, God where, are, and... where are the other rings going? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Or you could have. Uh, you could swear to the white wizard, but then it. I don't know. You could you... have. what? Well, actually, Bilbo kind of got the ring from Smeagol originally, so you could have Bilbo be Batman. That would be pretty cool. Hello, guys. Hey, our cats are running all around. I would really like to do the Lord of the Rings uh, free roaming stuff oh, too. Oh, that that would be amazing. That I was actually one of the biggest ones. Look at this. You can't play on this uh, equipment. You can only Ooh. do it in ET. He can't slide. Well, that's Stupid. sad. We have to destroy this equipment because uh, Voldemort is angry that he can't. That it's not built for him. It's not he, built he for has, him, so... He has some anger issues, it's really... He would be a lot happier if he had hair and a nose. <laughs> nose. I think... I think the no-nose thing is, like... I think it's all attributed to that. I think, like... Put him on, like, one of those makeover shows where they give him, like, plastic surgery in, like, Beverly Hills or something, and, like, he's he's on TV, and it... He has a nose, and he... He's a... <laughs> He's so disappointed. <laughs> exactly. So, and then maybe he can do some kind of hair restoration program. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and then it turns out he's just like skipping around and happy. He also might need to just sit out in the sun for a little bit because he's really pale. Hmm. And I mean really pale. Yeah, I know. What's up with that guy? Well done. Three gold bricks so far. Good job! Yay! I like to ninja run. Ninja running's fun. 
Where to next? <laughs> Apparently that tree. That tree, you just ate that tree. Yeah. Oh, one uh -oh. of those. One of those. I keep forgetting that ninja is a girl ninja. She's a samurai. Samurai. I'm sorry, girl. Samurai. Samurai. So you're excited for Lord of the Rings? You want to do Lord of the Rings free roam? Well, I want to do DC stuff first. Like, yeah. I mean, let's see if each world takes about like six or seven episodes. Yeah, I mean, people keep asking us about the the Flash hub world thing, and I I believe we showed that in an. We episode. did show it. We did it. I always. It's not a hub world. It's a uh, like a, it's little a hidden Easter mission. Egg. It's a hidden Easter egg inside of the Fantastic Beasts. Yeah, in the Fantastic Beasts. That's the shopping, the shopping mall, or the, sh Thank the you. department store. I will have to send the link to somebody next time they ask because I get that question all the time, and it's like, uh, yeah, we definitely did that. Yes, we did, and it was amazing. Yeah, that was a really cool little Easter. We even egg. We even brought Sonic into it. It's awesome. Yep. Ooh, that looks fun. I know, because Sonic had to represent the Flash. I don't understand why they still haven't made a Flash figure. Based on the popularity of the Flash, that thing would sell like hotcakes. Oh, yeah. I know, they did an Arrow figure, but not the Flash. What is up with that? I would be so disappointed if I was the guy playing Barry. I'd be like, what? My show is so popular. I feel sad. I bet the guy who plays the, the uh, arrow is always like harassing him, like, ha, ah, I got a Lego figure and you didn't. So, but I don't think it's Steve Amell that voices no. him in Lego mm. Dimensions, is I it? I don't, I don't know if it is. I don't think it is, actually. What is that? Um, somebody with a grappling hook, I think, has to go here. So, Ethan Hunt. Yeah, Ethan Hunt could do it. Or you could have a flyer. Mm. I just like to bring in random people that... Let's go check. All right, K-Wing, for you. Batman. Troy Baker. <laughs> he sounds so cool. I love Troy Baker as a and Lego Batman. Any opportunity to bring Batman into the play is like, like I really, I feel that Troy works really well as a parody Batman. Yeah. I don't, I wasn't completely sold with his performance in that Telltale Batman. He did a good job. <gasps> And he does a great job in the, um... Oh, okay. I didn't realize that was even... Oh, wow. He did a great... I I think he did all right. Yeah, he, So was... he was Batman in that? Oh, my gosh. Well, he was Bruce Wayne, and oh. then he was, like, you oh, know, okay. computerized bat voice. Right. Auto-tune yeah, Batman. Yeah, auto-tune Batman. But, I mean, I like him in the Just Lego like the movies and the Lego games because his parody Batman works because he's trying to be a little bit serious. He's playing the straight man. But he's man. also being funny a little Right. Bit. Exactly, yeah. He's being cute and funny for some reason. He works with the Lego. It works. Right. I don't know why. He just does such a great Lego Batman. It's exactly what I would think of Lego Batman to sound like. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. I don't look like uh, Arthur Weasley, I think it is. Yeah, Ron's you just dad, have to I guess. put him in the, on the top. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay. <sighs> and now you have to just become... Uh, one of the locals. Uh, is it okay to say I like Harry Potter once in a while, but in general, movies with all the hocus pocus and creepy music kind of fr creep me out a little bit. I'd rather watch kitten videos or cartoons. Another gold brick, Miss Amber. Yay. Actually be Mrs. Amber. I like Miss, I'll go with that. Psh. No, I, I don't mind Mrs. that's nice. Well, you better not mind it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that, Mr. Uh, I don't know. Okay, we Actually, guys are always Mr. Girls are the yeah. only ones that get upgraded. They're upgraded. either Miss or they're Mrs. Yes, it's yeah. an upgrade. It's an upgrade. You better say it's an it's, upgrade! I mean, yeah, it's an upgrade. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm guessing <laughs> this is the end of the episode. Thanks so much for taking People the time think to watch. I'm older if it's Mrs. I'm sorry, ma'am. Ah, uh, okay, Mrs. Okay, Mrs. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you with more Harry Potter next time. God bless and happy gaming. See ya.